hello everyone in this video let's see how to send multiple emails from power app using for each apply okay so for that i'm gonna create one sharepoint list okay so create a sharepoint list here go to site contents and click new list here take a blank list and name it as emp data okay once you create the list add some columns by default there will be title column and here add the name of the employee emp name and his uh, say something like we can give his email emp email okay so now we have three columns with title emp name and uh, emp email okay let's add some items here <coughs> mr here i'm giving the emails And let's create okay now I created uh, two items here and let's go to power automate and uh, check how we can send this multiple emails okay so first you need to click this power automate icon in this office.com and it will load the power automate if you have the license click create and go to automated cloud flow or else you skip here and start from the scratch so first here our a our aim is to get all the items in the sharepoint list okay so go to sharepoint trigger here and check whether any trigger is available to get all the items first so let's see here i can see when an item is created when file when a selected item file when a file is deleted like that it is there so but I don't want this so let's schedule this first write a uh, scheduler here so that we can trigger it okay scheduler so scheduler uh, will send the emails uh, generally uh, for every month so so after adding this trigger click new step and go to the sharepoint and now check here any items get items here okay check this action get items now it's asking the site name so select the site address here our is sharepoint lessons okay our site name is lessons and uh, select an item so here we need to select emp data okay so then uh, once you get the items now you need to uh, iterate them iterate means one by one we need to iterate here okay because there are two items so we need to iterate that to iterate uh, this this get items we have a connector here or we can have an action here uh, select control here we can see apply to each okay so apply to each uh, it is asking this step is asking an output from the previous steps so the output from the previous steps is get items so in the get items 
uh, here uh, place the cursor and add dynamic value or add an expression so we will add a dynamic value here so here we got value list of items okay now once uh, save this flow with some name apply to each we'll click save and let's trigger it first and check how the data is coming here okay so click test here manual test and run flow done okay so now this flow is ran successfully we got apply to each and here we got two because uh, we have two items so it's now recognizing the list with the two items so now uh, let's add here and add an action and here place send an email here send an email version 2 and to whom we need to send uh, email uh, for the first employee right so here in the two we will give here add a dynamic value here emp email is there right that we need to write here subject here say testing the alerts okay here we can just mention hi and the name of the employee so name of the employee emp name we can give here and comma and frame the subject here body so my we are just testing we apply to each okay so regards or thanks now once we apply this uh, the email must go to the two persons two employees okay okay click save and now test it one more time we can do it manually or automatically because we already done the successful so automatically and we can uh, check with the recent user trigger succeeded here okay select this and test and now it is uh, showing that three seconds two seconds and it's all are in green dot green tick marks and you can check your email whether you got the email or not go to outlook and now you got the email okay so now you can see here uh, we got the email so just uh, we need to use the apply to each and uh, you can send emails to multiple pe people here okay thank you for watching if you like our videos please subscribe